Hi, I'm James McGuire, and today we're talking about the technological support systems that keep a business going. They include things like IT services management and IT operations management. To discuss that, I'm joined by a major industry expert. With me is Aaron Fulkerson, General Manager of ServiceNow Impact. Aaron, thanks for talking with us today. It is my pleasure to be here with you, James. Thanks for including me in the conversation. And, and Aaron, just tell me before our, my, my big official serious questions, how's your week been going? Is this a serious, is this a, like a, a busy week, an okay week? Are you happy it's Friday? What, what, what's going on in the world, Aaron Fulkerson? It's, it's been a big month here at ServiceNow, uh, particularly with my team of ServiceNow Impact, because we uh, publicly launched ServiceNow Impact last week, and we're in the middle of our um, go-to-market sales kickoff week here at ServiceNow. So it's, it's been a hectic, uh, frenetic week with lots of conversations. And um, I'm just hoping during my conversation with you that my one-year-old COVID dog doesn't start yapping oh. and, and create a disruption. So we'll, we'll, hopefully he, he's patient and cooperates. Oh, goodness. Poor creature. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the, the, the enterprise software market. There's so much going on in, in the enterprise software market these days. What, what do you see as a, a, a couple of key trends driving the market? Well, I think it's pretty clear that um, businesses are all undergoing their digital transformations across their various uh, functions inside their enterprises. So mm -hmm. clearly, um, digital transformation is, is a driving force across the industry. In fact, totally. we know, according to IDC, that over $3 trillion was spent in the last three years on digital transformation, okay. which is remarkable. However, Huge. what is surprising is that of those $3 trillion in do in dollars invested in this, IDC estimates that 26% of that investment actually realized a return on investment. Oh. So, so most of it was actually wasted. Right. That's that's what we're seeing from IDC and other industry analysts who are are looking at this broadly across the enterprise software space around digital transformation. A lot of it's been wasted. Yeah. Hmm. Why, why do you think so much has been wasted? What's what's the problem there? Well, what what we've learned from a two year analysis of the market um, wherein we interviewed software buyers and leaders in digital transformation um, is th this concept of a value gap. Hmm. So a company makes an investment in technology for a digital transformation to achieve some specific business outcomes. Mm -hmm. And they have certain expectations around how they're going to measure success and what the business return will be in terms of dollars. Um, that is their expectation. Uh, mm -hmm. However, for a variety of factors, they fail to realize that full potential. That is called the value gap, right? Mm -hmm. we, we've been seeing it talked about as the value gap and um, what's creating that value gap, there's a variety of factors. Um, one is, and I think anybody who's purchased and, and, and implemented software or led digital transformations can relate to this, is the strategic vision for the investment. What the mm -hmm exact outcomes were intended to be often gets lost after the purchase. Like there's, there's not a carryover of, hey, this is our outcomes to the team that is going to implement or operate the technology. So that, that's is, why. Is that a planning problem or is it, is it an execution problem there? I think that there's a disconnect between the, the pre-sales and the post-sales. You know, it's like hmm. that, that old story of, a man's walking along a medieval village and he sees somebody laying a brick and he asks him, what are you, what are you doing? He's like, I'm laying a brick. And he goes to the next person and he asks him, what are you doing? He says, I'm building a cathedral. And he goes to the next mm. person. He says, I'm celebrating the glory of God. Mm. So there's a disconnect between the strategic buyer and the team that's actually tactically operating or implementing. So right, one of the right. critical pieces is taking that strategic vision and mapping it into an operating model that then provides a real-time progress bar on that digital transformation with value tracking and value acceleration. Which one of those three answers is the is the effective answer in terms of you know pragmatic digital transformation? Well, I mean that's that's the reality of it. Is it's all three. You know, all oh, three okay. stakeholders in the organization are correct, but they have to be unified and have a clear picture of where it is that they're intending. What, what, what is it that they're intending to achieve 
and then manage and track the ROI against that. Um, hmm. So that idea of understanding what is, how do you measure value, having real-time progress bars to track it, that's one critical piece that creates the value gap. Another one is skills. There is a skills deficit in industry. I think everybody understands this. Talent is very difficult to hire right. and staff, right. and there's a skills deficit. So closing that skills deficit is another critical piece in solving for the value gap too. Hmm. All right, so you, you, you've talked about some, some pain points for companies that, that, as they grapple with digital transformation, which is such an important topic these days. People are really thinking about that. What, what, what advice would you give them to, to move their digital transformation further along faster? Yeah, I think, I think that what we're seeing in, in market and, and evidenced by what we're doing at ServiceNow is we're, we, we brought to market a value acceleration solution that first you've got to, to solve the problem, you've got to accept and recognize that there is one. And mm -hmm. that's this concept of a value gap, right? Um, so once you recognize that there's a problem, then you can go about addressing it and um, recognizing the underlying root causes of that problem is, is one of the key components, right? So the mm -hmm. understanding how to measure track, skilling up, and then also making sure that you, you're delivering a, a uh, um, personalized experience based on those desired outcomes so that you're not just blind. Like, th there's no such thing as a one size fits all in digital transformation. That's, that's the key point in my long winded right. way of, of addressing is there's no such thing as a one size fits all. Hmm. Let's talk about uh, ServiceNow, the, the ServiceNow Impact Solution, which I know you're the general manager of. And what, what is it and, and how does it help companies? And so what, what we recognized from our research, like I was sharing with you, was that there's some fundamental challenges that software buyers are, are facing in, in achieving their digital transformation goals. So we set out to build a product uh, that addresses those. And um, the critical thing that, that we, we did was we built a new software product on the ServiceNow platform that allows our customers uh, to map out what their, their digital transformation journey looks like with um, uh, what we call impact success squad members. And then by, as a function of mapping that out, they have a very clear plan of achieving their objectives, but also they've trained a personalization engine that helps them get recommendations around what's the specific content, the specific training, the specific next best action based on the products that they've purchased and the outcomes that they expect to deliver on, how should they configure those? And, and what's the next most important priority for them to take down? Um, mm. And also critically, uh, it provides value tracking so that at all levels of the organization, whether it's a C-level who is the strategic buyer uh, or the operator, uh, they're able to get relevant information about how the progress is tracking. Now that progress to a C-level is really around the amount of return on investment and how it's tracking against their business imperative that they uh, use to justify the investment in the software, all the way down to the platform owner who just simply needs to know that, oh, if you deploy this feature, you can accelerate your value. Or if you take for your team this training, you can skill them up and address that talent deficit. Interesting. So if I, if I put that in a nutshell, like how would you, if, how would you put that in like just a, a few sentences, just, just kind of for the simplicity of it, like ServiceNow yeah, so, Impact does, does this. Yeah, it's, so, uh, it's, it's ServiceNow Impact is a value acceleration solution to help our customers navigate their digital transformation journey I so that, that they're able to get, they're able to get a faster time to value and actually achieve the commitment they made to the board of directors around their return on investment on their ServiceNow investments. That, that, is, that is perfectly clear. I like that. Uh, all right, let's, let's talk about digital transformation. Obviously, it's, it's one of the, the defining technologies of our, of our time period. What, what, what do you see as, as, the, as the future here? And, and specifically, what role will artificial intelligence play? Yeah, well, let's take a look at some of the customers that are already on ServiceNow Impact who are undergoing their own digital transformations. You know, State of Montana is a perfect example of this. So huh. speaking of digital transformation, this, the governor of Montana has mandated 100% digital. So it's a digital first approach across the entire government of Montana. So okay. think about how massive of an operation that is. Right. So across all of their form and paper-based processes, they're, they're now digitizing them 
to uh, solve for waste and um, also increase accountability. So the CIO, Kevin Gilbertson at State of Montana, uh, mm -hmm. is employing ServiceNow and as a, a platform that connects all of the other platforms, it's what we call a platform of platforms approach to digitize mm -hmm. all of the operations of the government of Montana. Mm -hmm. And critically, he's, he's put over the top of that ServiceNow impact so that he can accelerate that, track his progress and report to the governor how they're doing. Um, mm -hmm. So that, that's, that's a great example. I mean, I'll, I'll give you another one is News Corp, oh. a massive media conglomerate. Sure. Um, again, another example of a organization that is going into a, it's a do or die, like Bill McDermott talks about. It's a do or die moment where they need to go through uh, a reinvention, a digitization of their business processes. And they've undertaken <clears throat> an IT transformation. They're in the process of going through an employee transformation critically because they too have a talent deficit in their industry. Not, mm -hmm. not related to technology, but they know that if they don't deliver a quality employee work experience, that they won't retain top talent. So they're using ServiceNow to go through an employee transformation to improve the quality of life at the work environment for their staff. Mm -hmm. And then they also have a customer service transformation underway. So mm -hmm. the CTO at News Corp told us that, look, I need to be able to track for my board, not just technical success metrics, but business success metrics across each one of these transformations. So mm -hmm. I can show the return on investment that we're making, the impact we're having for the business uh, as a result of this technology investment. Mm -hmm. So you asked about AI though. So please, yeah, no, I, 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 got, I wandered off into customer AI stories. Piece. In both of those examples, AI right. plays a critical role. Uh -huh. And that's because when they initially set up the environment, they go through that, that mapping process of here's what we are expecting to achieve, here's our metrics, blah, blah, blah. And then it trains the AI. So it creates a personalized environment mm -hmm. for all of their staff members to receive recommendations through this AI engine about mm -hmm. here's training, here's content, here's best practices. And, and AI plays a really integral role. And the broader trend, forget ServiceNow and, and impact and everything, the broader trend is personalization. Mm. Companies that deliver personalized products, according to McKinsey, outperform their competitors by 3x over, I think it was a three or five year period. So mm. companies have to bake into this personalization. So whether it's within impact, AI driving the personalization in order to have the scale and quality of personalization is critical. But similarly for our customers who are going through digital transformations, they're going to use and are using AI capabilities built into our platform to deliver personalization for their downstream users through their digital transformations as well. That's a really interesting idea. And I, I think that will be a, a, something driving AI in the future. I mean, what, what might be an example of, of a personalization that might be delivered by AI? I mean, I, I could think of a few, but what, what do you see in, in the real world? Well, gosh, let's let's take a look at the state of Montana, right? Right. Um, using another customer example, I mean, um, I think it's a good one because I think everybody's been involved in their state and local governments, and mm -hmm. we've all navigated the workflows necessary to achieve a particular form or permit process, or getting a hunting permit or a construction permit or something like that. It's really confusing, right? Very, it's very. it's a it's a dumb machine that right. doesn't know me well. Sure. So I have to hunt and peck and search and, and scavenge across a variety of disconnected silos to figure out how to navigate and get what I need from government. So it's, it's, State of Montana is a perfect example, right? The AI tools will drive personalization for me, the citizen, to accelerate me achieving my workflow that I need to complete with the government. It's a perfect mm. example, I think, James. Wow, I, 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 I want to see that one come true in, in every state, definitely. Um, Aaron, I think you said it. It's a really, it's some really interesting thoughts and it's, it's, it's a fascinating sector to, to, to follow as the years go on. I mean, I think obviously digital transformation will be a, a, a huge impact. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your expertise today. Totally appreciate it. Thank you, James, for having me. I really appreciate your time.